Welcome back, viewers, to the Retail Challenges podcast. I'm your host, Michael, and today we have two special guests I would like to introduce. Please welcome Josie, a 20-year-old fashion YouTuber from Off The Rack, whose channel focuses on the struggles of plus-size female millennial shoppers. And then we have Tamar, one of the department merchandise managers for the TRF department at Zara. Let's get things started with a question, shall we? First off, Josie, can you tell us a bit about the channel? Sure. The channel is a community for plus-size shoppers struggling to fit in. Every month, I go into a store and grab the biggest sizes for some of the most popular items and try them on for the viewers, so that they can get a good feeling of the in-store experience as well as challenge the retail's concept of size diversity. This can be sometimes embarrassing when you can only find clothes in the dark corner of the plus-size section. My first good experience was at Universal Standard, whose co-founder once said the idea of separating women from access to styles and quality has got to stop. There shouldn't be an us and a them. They provide sizes from double zero to 40 for all styles. And when you go into these retailers, do you feel like there's a us and them? For sure. The separate department means that if I go shopping with a friend who is more petite, we cannot shop in the same area. Or the style of the garment is more different for what the retailer feels is more figure flattering, which translates to the appearance of a more slenderizing style. I don't understand why plus size shoppers have separate sections full of solid colored loose clothing. It's even worse when retailers who cater to one size fits all like Brandy Melville. Lululemon, for example, shuns those who don't fit into their idea of health and fitness, offering the largest size of a 10 or a 12, where Fabletics carries sizes zero to 24. I understand your point of view, but it is difficult for companies to provide more sizing options for many reasons. For one, there's a lot of cost and time associated with getting the fit right for a wide range of sizes. We usually create designs based on a sample size garment of a size 2 or 4. But why not service a full range of size options? I'd argue that designers choose to not cater to plus size clientele due to the unfamiliarity with designing for different body types, which leads to intimidations. As a business, we do have to consider optimizing the physical space within our retail stores since the goal is to revenue out every limited square inch. We tend to focus on buying pieces that are the most profitable products which will take up the prime space and promote. Josie, what can retailers like Zara and Lululemon do to improve? There is a huge demand for universal sizing, which brands can no longer afford to ignore. When retailers choose to save money by providing sizes exclusively online, it makes the experience of finding proper fit clothing more challenging. We should celebrate everyone's body through untouched ads of curvy models, designing pieces that break the rules of dressing for your body type and get rid of plus size departments. A lot of these ideas are good, some are more doable than others, due to issues of budgeting and space. The store is designed in a freeform layout, meaning 3-6 to six depth per garment, size small to large, take up less space than 10 different sizes on the rack. We'd have to change our store designs, our displays, and that would be very expensive for each individual store. When those potential customers enter the store and they are unable to find clothing that is offered in their size, it does not satisfy their hedonic needs, but rather decreases the company's sales on visit. And that is all we have time for today. I would like to thank our two special guests that have provided different insights on the issue regarding fashion retailers that overlook the plus size consumer market. Thank you to the audience for listening. Hope you all tune in for next week's episode. Adios.